Hello, in this question we're going to find the Jacobian or the change of variables given by x equals r cosine theta and y equals r sine theta. So all we have to use in this problem is the definition of the Jacobian. So the Jacobian of x and y with respect to r and theta is given by the following formula. So del xy del r theta and there's a convenient mechanism to memorize it. Basically, you take your first um, variable and you take the partials with respect to r and theta, and that goes in the top row. So it'll be del x, del r, del x, del theta. And then in the second row, you do the same thing, but you do it with y. So it'll be del y, del r, del y, del theta. And you can use this um, to compute uh, the Jacobian. Um, this is a determinant. So recall from um, like matrix algebra, if you have A, B, C, D, it's just A, D minus B, C. So if we were doing that here, um, you would multiply these. So it would be del X del R times del Y del theta and then minus, and then you would do del x del theta times del y del r. Okay, so um, I like memorizing it like this, but let's just go ahead and work it out. So in this case, we can find everything quite easily. Um, let's see, so del x uh, del r. So we're finding the partial of this with respect to r. So we treat the theta as a constant. In particular, the cosine theta would be constant in this case. So the partial of uh, partial derivative here will just be cosine theta because the derivative of r is one. And then we want um, del x del theta. So del x del theta. In this case, we treat the r as a constant and the derivative of cosine is negative sine. So it'll be negative r sine theta. And we can do del y del r. So same thing, the sine theta is a constant and the derivative of r is one, so this will be simply sine theta. I come down a line here, running out of room. And then the last one will be uh, del y del theta, which um, the r is a constant in this case, so it's r cosine theta. All right, so let's just go ahead and plug everything into our formula and uh, we're good to go. So I'm just gonna scroll down a little bit here. So the Jacobian of x and y with respect to uh, r and theta is given by, and let's just go ahead and plug it into this since, we, since I already wrote it out. Normally I plug it into this, then I work it out, but I worked it out this way in the video so you see the full formula. So del x del r, that's this one here, cosine theta. That's this first piece here. And then del y del theta is going to be this one down here. So r cosine theta. Okay. And then minus uh, del x del theta. That's going to be right here. So negative r sine theta. And then um, del y del r, which is right here. So sine theta. Good stuff. Let's just keep going. We're almost done, and we'll have um, the actual answer, which is nice. So this is equal to r, and then cosine times cosine is um, cosine squared theta. And then negative and negative is positive here, so we get plus r. Sine times sine is sine squared theta. And you notice that we actually have a common factor here. We can pull out an r. So this is r parentheses cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta. And this is a, a famous trigonometric identity, right? If you take cosine squared uh, plus sine squared, um, that's going to be equal to one. So this is r times one, which is equal to r, and that would be the Jacobian. So pretty cool. And hopefully this example has showed you how to compute um, the Jacobian for um, a change of variables, uh, in this case given by x equals r cosine theta 
and uh, y equals r sine theta. I hope this video has been helpful to someone out there in the world. Good luck.